Welcome back to another Alliance War. This time around, Fort Loki is going up against Mexi. Landis? I'm probably saying that incorrectly. Let's just go with Mexi. Fort Loki versus Mexi. And I'm entering the battlefield here with my normal trio of champions from my path, which is Stark, Spidey, Blade, and Void. First note up is a five star science champion, and I'm thinking that this is going to be a yellow jacket just because I see yellow jacket here so much. Uh, it could also be Spider Man, perhaps. I can't remember if I checked the minis. I'm sure I checked the minis before going into this fight, but it doesn't really matter. Regardless of what champion uh, this is, I want to go in with Stark Spidey, and it's not that bad of a note. It's usually just a uh, kind of diversity play, as you guys know. So it is Rhino. Okay, interesting. Haven't seen Rhino on this node before, I don't think, at least. I'm just going to build up some poise charges. He throws the heavy attack, so I might as well get some free damage in, then go back to building up poise charges from there. Just going to try to get 10 poise charges, and then really I just need one clean parry where he doesn't go uh, you know unblockable because uh, it, sometimes it's hard to to uh, to tell when he's going unblockable like if your reactions are fast enough you see the text pop up you're good to go but um, sometimes your reactions aren't fast enough anyway I've got him uh, above bar power so just need to bait out one special there we go throw my special and Rhino is down all right first fight everything is about as smooth as can be lost two percent health but I'm not really too concerned about two percent health Next node up is also a champion that I wasn't really used to seeing too much. Uh, as you'll see here, it is a four-star skill champion. And he's throwing me off there because if you see his name, it's Agent Killer 47 So I'm thinking, oh man, four-star four, four skill champion with Agent in the name. Is it Agent Venom, perhaps? No, actually, this game does not work like that. Um, so he's going to go ahead and boost up. But this is actually Fraggle Rock that I'll be uh, fighting on this stun immune node, uh, which is an interesting choice. Um, I'm used to seeing things like uh, like Nightcrawler or, or someone where you know, if you can't necessarily get a stun off, you're kind of screwed. Um, so it's interesting to see Fraggle Rock on this node. I'm going to go in here with Stark Spidey. And whenever you see a Fraggle Rock, the, the one big thing that you have to watch for is, uh, you know, when, when you get him to a, when you get 20 hits on him, you're going to have to throw a special, otherwise he's going to get you with his special 3, and from there, uh, the fight could be pretty brutal. So, that's my whole goal here, is just to build up some poise charges, and he's dropping fast. I'm not even going to have to get him up to 20 hit combo, I realized after that first 5 hit combo. Um, so yeah, just another, probably another 5 hit combo will do. Let's see here, another 5 hits. And I probably could have killed him with a special one, but I hesitated. He threw his anyway, and he goes down. So not too bad. Only another, uh, you know, 3% health loss or so from taking a little bit of chip damage blocking. No biggie. Um, the next node up is going to be a 5-star Cosmic Champion. And I was fairly certain that this was going to be a Medusa going into it. And it, in fact, is a Medusa. I fought Medusa on this node a few times here with Void. This is, of course, the Recovery Limber and Buffet node. Um, and while Medusa is a tough fight, uh, I wasn't uh, wasn't overly concerned about uh, about the fight. I, I, I'm fairly confident at, at you know, taking down Medusas at this point. Uh, just got to really watch out for, for not triggering that uh, that auto parry. I'm trying to get in as many hits uh, early on before she gets her third fury. And I've got her pushed all the way against the wall here pretty much. So that's exactly where you want to be. Um, you know, the, the more time you can have Medusa uh, against the wall like that or just out in the open where you're not stuck against the wall and, and you know, constantly just evading the heavies and stuff like that, the better. Uh, and while she doesn't have three Furies, I try to intercept her heavy attack after the, the first hit, since it's a two-hit heavy attack. But while she has the Furies, I generally try to wait out both animations just to kind of kill more time. Uh, so that's kind of my general strategy here when it comes to the heavy attacks. Of course, she's back at three Furies pretty quickly here, so I'm kind of just playing that whole waiting game in the corner at the moment. And trying to get a few jabs in here as I can just to build up my power. And I have her in a pretty good spot right now. She's got a lot of debuffs. She's, she, she's got her sixth one. She's, you know, Fear the Void's about to start. Um, she's going to go back into her third. Ooh, that was actually pretty close there. I could have got, got nailed by, uh, by, you know, the auto block. But she actually ends up hitting me a few times uh, either way. So I'm in a little bit of rough shape here at the moment. But uh, hopefully I can get out of here without too much trouble. I, I don't really want to push myself to a special 2, but I'm there anyway. I did not mean to back up there. No! No, Medusa, no! Why? 
I really did not mean to back up there. I remember very vividly throughout this fight thinking, okay, she's going to pop her special two. Just block it. I'll survive it. I'll use my special two. She already has plenty of debuffs up. I'll be fine. Uh, and for some reason, man, my finger must have just slid over like a millimeter towards the left side of my screen, and then I ended up dashing back. Um, that was, It wasn't even one of those things where, like, you know, sometimes sometimes with, uh, like, Spider-Man when he throws his webs, sometimes I tell myself not to evade, and I, and I like, just full-on do a full swipe back. Uh, this wasn't even like that. I just, I must have just barely edged it back. Um... But anyway, I go back in here with Stark Spidey because I'm thinking, okay, she's got like 20% health. I'm not even going to trigger the buffet. I'm just going to, you know, take her down in a few combos. No big deal. Uh, uh, except I did evade, and I did trigger the healing, uh, and I did attack her twice while she had living strands, so I could have gotten royally screwed here. But I'm going to try my best not to trigger any other kind of buffs on myself to give her any kind of healing. Um, just being very careful with the way that I evade. And I just need to do it one more time. No intercepts. There we go. She's down. I was very scared, actually, after I didn't take her down, after I gave her that one heal, because I knew I was dropping poise. You know, you start out the fight with three poise charges because of the blade synergy, um, but when I didn't take her down initially, I was kind of wetting my undies. Um, it's very scary. I mean, I already died once. I didn't want to give up a second death on the same freaking node. That would have been awful. Um, so, all right. Next fight up is a four-star... Uh, Four-star Mystic Champion, I'm thinking, I'm not really too sure what this is, but Blade will probably be able to handle it. I've seen magic on this node before, thinking maybe it's magic. People, A lot of people are bringing like, their, their five-star magics on, on attack now because of uh, how many blades are being ran in war. So seeing a four-star magic is not that inconceivable a thing, but it turns out it's Hood. I'm like, okay, cool, Hood, Hood's no problem, but check this out, look at his power gain. This dude must have five out of five Mystic Dispersion. Uh, cause that power gain is nuts, man, and I'm thinking, oh crap, I did not want to push him to a special 2. I'm in some rough shape right here. Uh, alright, just, just wait this out, get rid of the invisibility, and then everything will be good. Alright, cool. Survived it, no problem. Alright, let's get some damage in here, and... Alright, throw the special 1. No! No, he's back at special 2! Ah, oh, come on! No, dude! Oh, oh wait. Oh, I'm Blade. Oh, it's all right, yeah, false alarm, guys. Everything is good. I'm Blade. He didn't even go invisible that time. All right, we're good. Whew, that was uh, that was close. I would have been a rough spot because I was already against the wall. Didn't really have much room to work with. But uh, no, it turns out everything's good. Just bait out the special one one more time here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw my L2 right in his face. And I didn't realize it, but that pushed his power to a special two also, and this did not kill him. Uh, so he's gonna throw another special two. I'm thinking, oh god, why? But nope, I'm Blade again. So yeah, that's it. It's over. Uh, thanks, Blade. Appreciate appreciate that, man. Um, I, I probably would have given up a death there in any other uh, circumstance. So thanks, man. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, all right, one one more fight to go here in my path, uh, and it is going to be a five-star tech champion. And I was fairly certain that this was going to be a Stark Spidey. Um, not too many people have Sentinel yet. And uh, yeah, I was, I was, you know, pretty certain with this guy having Stark Spidey in the profile and all that. That's who is going to be here. Um, I've seen Stark Spidey on the snow a few times if you guys watched my videos in the past. And of course, he has the power gain, hand special two, power shield. All I'm trying to do in this fight is to get to a special two with ten poise charges, and, and that's it, pretty much. Uh, I am going to heal up here just in case because I, you know, I want to want to play it safe, safe as can be. Um, and away we go. Uh, I sometimes I think about popping like a like a tech boost here or something like that just to give myself a little bit extra damage, but I really don't think it's necessary. Stark Spidey already has so much damage on his special too. Um, I, I I probably will boost up in like the really really close wars or something like that with those the tech boosts, but uh, other than that, I really don't think it's necessary. Uh, and you're gonna see some crazy damage in this fight. I wish I auto evaded that. I was trying to, uh, you know, auto evade that to get a poise charge, but it didn't end up happening. So this next one over here, I'm not even going to uh, try to auto evade. I'm just gonna just back out a little bit. Uh, and I've got to a special two pretty much. Just gonna bait out the special one more time. Uh, I want to. I kind of want to. I kind of want to push him over a bar of special and do it one more time. Just just bait out one more special here. Just so I don't send him to a special two if this doesn't kill him. And need to uh, need to parry him now. 
just to make sure it connects and away we go and say goodnight we got two crits on the web shots and that's really all you need to one shot somebody here so just like that stark spidey versus stark spidey you gotta love that fight man uh anytime you could one shot somebody with your special is a pretty good time and that's it that's it for for this war uh it was a good war against mexi we actually did come out on top in this one so uh yeah uh good war to you guys and it's possible that we may see each other towards the tail end of season one here so if we do good luck in the rematch and thank you all for watching i will see you guys in the next video take care